it is only fair to test also the King Bolin K7. We want to evaluate the health of a battery on a BMW vehicle. The same process will be valid for any BMW. And until this point, I would say E series vehicles, F series vehicles, they are having the same information available on the can. Well, first thing to do, we connect to the vehicle, BMW. Many of the things that you will see on the channel with regards to the launch products are very similar to or on the King Bolin tools and also are very similar on the Top Dawn tools. So take it with a bit of salt. I don't know who's developing the software, that kind of all of them are running similar software. So if you don't find that much content for one of them, don't lose hope because the other ones are relevant even for you. First test that I would recommend with regards to checking the health of a battery is to check the voltage under load. The best moment or the best load that you can give for a battery on a vehicle is the load of starting the engine. So ideally you prepare the test, you're not doing it like I'm doing with the engine already running. One cold morning, you go to your vehicle, you connect your scanner, you will be selecting the engine ECU, system selection, I want drive and I want engine. After you have selected the engine ECU, you go to live data and from the live data we are going to look at the voltage of the battery and especially the voltage of the battery, read data stream, diagnostic request, battery, battery voltage. Ah, this time let's go also for temperature because it looks nice and maybe another one over there. Those ones are selected. Okay. So with that information, let's see if we are able to combine it. Are we able to see it in a different format? Let's see. Battery voltage. Look how nice it is. When your engine will be cold and before you started it, the value that you will be seeing over there, it's 12.4, 12.2 right now because I already had the engine running. We have higher voltage. What we are looking at is when we start the engine for that value not to drop under 8 volts. The lower it drops, the bigger the indication that the battery either hasn't been charged or is not able to hold the charge over time. So this is the first bit of information that gives us a view on the battery, but it's not the only information that we need to take in account. And of course, you don't need the fancy diagnostic tool to do this, but it helps and it gives you the opportunity of sitting in the vehicle and not having to get someone else to do this. Um, test with you because you cannot be in two places at the same time. Next bit of information you want to ensure that when the engine is running the voltage in the system is higher than 12.6 volts. 12.6 volts being the standard voltage for a battery. Anything over 12.6 the battery is charging. Anything under 12.6 the battery is discharging. So you want to see a nice value 13.5, 14. Sometimes I've seen on some vehicles even 15. If the battery is really, really discharged, the vehicle might try to charge it at higher voltages. So don't panic just on that. We have this bit of information. What we also want to see, because this part of testing, you could have even done it with a normal multimeter. BMW, I kind of exited too much. BMW will have a battery management system that stores some additional interesting information. And also BMW as a vehicle will make sure that the vehicle will let you know that your battery isn't healthy in advance. 
the way that the vehicle approaches battery management is quite conservative and it will give you warning well in advance for you to buy another battery. Ideally when you do this type of testing it's good that you can prepare and actually buy a battery at a better price than doing a panic purchase at a very high price. Okay we want to see the histogram and the state of charge for the previous days. Okay where do we have it here? We have evaluate close circuit cir current monitoring we don't go for that. Evaluate the battery state of charge. Select that function continue and we are able to see the state of charge for the last five days F1 continue looking at these numbers my battery is a healthy battery but should your numbers be very very low you either didn't have enough time to charge the battery you have kept the vehicle with the engine switched off and someone was listening to music or doing all sorts of other stuff in your vehicle or the battery itself it's struggling to keep the charge we click continue over here that was another bit of information now we can see a charge status histogram which gives you a more broader view with regards to the state of charge of your battery the maximum range is 65,535 hours what can you tell based on this you can tell if your battery has spent a lot of time in a discharge state giving you an overview or some insight if your vehicle is not charging enough or if the battery is struggling to hold that charge you are also getting description of when these numbers will change so looking at the numbers my vehicle is a healthy or has a healthy battery and has a healthy charging system another piece of information will be with regards to when the battery has been changed because if you bought a vehicle that you don't know many things about one of the things that usually doesn't happen is the proper registration of a new battery and not having that piece of information the battery management system is not able to effectively charge or let you know when the battery needs to be replaced so you go to the back of your car you check to see if you have an original battery or if it has been changed you access this function and we are able to see with this function at what mileage did your battery or has your battery been replaced if here you don't see absolutely any battery registration and you have a changed battery someone didn't register it and you build the story from here you have two mileages so the last two battery changes should be more than enough for you to correlate the information with the battery that is in the vehicle. We have some information that can give us a good starting point to evaluate the health status of your battery and also this process might help you along the way with ensuring that you have a properly registered battery on your vehicle and prolong the life of your of your battery by giving you a bit of an insight of if you're charging the battery properly or not if your alternator and the charging system is providing enough current to the system and also it's an interesting way of actually seeing some diagnostic tools put to use on many modern vehicles i hope that this video was useful additional videos will be available on the channels somewhere on the screen other interesting links thank you for watching and see you in the next one